Oh, hey, our next interview is someone who is a movie director who wrote her movie about Grinnell and filmed it right here at Saints Rest. Stick around. Hey, Joni, does the piano still work? I don't know, it's a piano. I hear your sister's back in town. I'll bet she's glad to be back home. She is thrilled. It's good to see you. Me too. And did you choose Grinnell College and Grinnell in general? Well, I get that question all the time because I'm from Tel Aviv, Israel, which yeah. is very far away from here. And uh, so people always ask me, like, how did you end up in the middle of Iowa? And uh, it's actually um, a funny story. I read about Grinnell in a book called 30 Hidden IVs. So it's about these small liberal arts colleges that were kind of really good Ivy League level. And, um, and Grinnell sounded amazing to me. So while I applied to other colleges in the East and West Coast, uh, Grinnell was like the one oddball. And so um, I ended up getting a scholarship, which I needed to come here. And one day just landed in Des Moines, Iowa and was, I mean, Grinnell, I never visited here before I came. It was just kind of like a gamble. And I'm so glad in retrospect that I found myself here. What were your first thoughts like when you rolled into Grinnell from Des Moines? Um, that it's beautiful. Uh, it was summer when I arrived. There was international student orientation. So I was admiring the cornfields and just how quiet and picturesque it was. Have you written anything new lately? Not really. Why not? You had three years. To be sad with me, but you were in here. What was it like, you know, like, like Grinnell kind of setting and stuff, you know? Um, so I love that it's a small town. Um, I grew up in a big city, so for me this was a big change. Um, I love that everyone greeted you on the street, even people you didn't know, and everyone was super friendly. Uh, Saint Rush was always a place that I felt at home uh, at, and uh, I just just love like running into people you knew all the time. Um, in terms of Grinnell, I got to do really awesome things. Uh, while I was a student here, I, I studied theater and dance, so I got to choreograph and uh, choreograph and direct. And uh, I volunteered at the Grinnell Prison Program, um, and that was probably one of the most amazing experiences I've had in Grinnell, which also started my film career because I made my first film about a class that I taught as part of the Grinnell Prison Program. Um, so, yeah, you can say Grinnell has been an inspiration in everything I've done since. Saints Rest. I was wondering, actually, if you have any open chips. Oh, is Manhattan expensive? You're gonna be famous, Ali. I know these things. You missed all this, didn't you? Where'd you go to film school? I didn't go to film school. You didn't. No, I'm self-taught. You're um, self-taught. I mean, I studied theater, uh, directing, and and choreography, but uh, I never like had a film education. You know, an official film program. Um, my film school, I like to think of it, was the making of my first film. I just learned by doing. Okay. So. Um, yeah, I was. I spent four years on this feature-length documentary. Um, I moved to LA after I graduated from college. I worked in the film industry there for three years. Um, learned a lot from it. And while I was working in the industry, I was also working um, on my documentary on the side. Didn't have a budget or anything like that. And then a Grinnell alum named Paul McCulley. Um, he. Uh, he really supported the, the prison program in Grinnell and um, I contacted him and he became my executive producer. Uh, he funded the post-production of my first film and he uh, is the executive producer of Saints Rest, which is my new film, also shot entirely in Grinnell. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's Iowa in general and Grinnell in particular have served as an inspiration in both of those projects. and. Um, I feel like I learned so much from making those two films that that was like that was my film school. Okay, 
So you went you went to film school basically on the streets. That's you, right. You just went out and did it. That's good. Just did so, it. Learned a lot. Looks so cool smoking a cigarette. That's why I do it. It was like a. How did you come upon the idea to do Saints Rest? Um, what made you think like I want to come back to Grinnell and shoot a film here? Um, I've always wanted to film uh, at Saints Rest. Back when Jeff uh, Phelps was the owner, he was like a dad to me um, here in Grinnell. He always made me feel really welcome and at home. Um, he always knew like what I like to drink, and when I came here, it was just a feeling of just comfort and familiarity. And I love that they had live music performed here, um, the Too Many String Band and other bands that came here. Um, so I personally, I love musicals. I've always wanted to make a musical, and I thought, what better setting than Saints Rest, uh, where people come to hear and, and play live music. Um, so that's kind of how it all started. It started with a place, this town, which I love and I think is beautiful. Um, and that kind of served as the inspiration for writing this thing. Can we talk about like, your approach and stuff and how, how it works in the film? Sure. Um, that's really funny uh, that you thought I was an intern because uh, at times I felt like, you know, this is my first narrative feature. Um, as a director and co-writer, and I remember being on set the first day surrounded by a crew of 30 people who I had just met, all professionals in their fields, really talented people, and I was it was overwhelming. It was a sense of, I can't believe all these people came here for me and, and to make my vision a reality and to make this movie together. So, and then uh, so many people like yourself had worked, volunteered to work on the film, and. And it was just, it felt like I was making a movie with my best friends and family. It, and that's why I love the process so much because I really did, did love the people I got to work with. I was very, very lucky to have such a supportive um, community here in Grinnell. Really everyone pitched in. Um, everything you see in the movie was, could not have happened without the support and help of the local um, people from town. Um, and I'm a positive person in general. I try to be. Um, I try to bring high energy to set every day because I know how hard it is um, for everyone working on it. You know, it's really long days, 12-hour days. Um, you just, the work is, is overwhelming. It's, it's just, it can get really exhausting. So um, I think if you show up with a smile, it helps everyone else around you kind of enjoy the process more and remember to enjoy it because it's, it's hard, it's easy to forget. Running, running. You don't even care that we're only going to see each other maybe 20 more times for the rest of our lives. You can't keep everyone static around you. Um, I'm sure it wasn't easy for them. I think, um, you know, a lot of businesses had agreed to close uh, their doors for us to film. Like, Saints for Us had to close for a week uh, while we moved in here and really just took over the place. So I'm sure a lot of people uh, were missing their coffee during that week. Um, and, uh, you know, when you make a film, you show up with a bunch of huge trucks, a bunch of equipment, you make a lot of noise, we break things, you know, along the way. It's it's a, it's a an overwhelming experience. Um, so I'm sure it wasn't easy, uh, but I also think it was really exciting. I hope it was for people in town to be able to take part in the making of a film, uh, the extras in it, see themselves on the big screen, which they will tonight at our premiere. Um, I hope it was, it was overall a positive experience. It's a magical world, you guys. How was your date last night? Maybe she's not so terrible. You know. What is it that you love about Grinnell? Like, if you could explain. Oh my God. Can I make a list? I mean, there's so many things. Um, for 
first of all, I love the college. Grinnell College will always have a huge place in my heart. I spent, you know, four years here, four many years, and um, the movie could not have been made without the support of Grinnell. They let us stay in the dorms while we were making it. They really did a, went above and beyond for us. Um, so I love the college and how it feels like home and it has been supportive in everything I've done so far. Love my college experience, love the classes, the atmosphere. Um, I love the, I love the walkability of the town. I love um, Grinnell Park. The new park is amazing. I just saw it for the yeah, first time. Yeah, I was going to say, did you get to see the park? Of course, right? yeah. yeah. There's so many new places here, like the Hotel Grinnell that just yeah. opened. And um, obviously, St. Rest is one of my favorite places in town. Love all the restaurants. Every time I come back here, I have to like eat everything. Love Gary Barn. Um, best ice cream I have ever had. I went there last night and had way too much of ice cream. Um, but yeah, I, I mostly I'd have to say it's the people because everyone I've had the pleasure of interacting with here has been just curious, open-minded, um, just genuinely nice people. Um, I love the Too Many String Band. I can go on and on and on. I love the water tower. I mean, the, I love that the train crosses through campus um, once a day, twice a day, I don't even know. Um, yeah, I just, I love, you know, my college memories from here, the, the friends I've made here, my college friends who are still my best friends. Um, so yeah, just to name a few. It never occurs to anyone that maybe I like it here. Maybe I consider this home. To my favorite threesome. Cheers. Oh my god. What a night. <laughs> <laughs>Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed Noga's interview as much as I did. Up next, we're going to have Bridget Brandt. Uh, we're actually going to be doing it this time for her next interview. Uh, feel free to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Hit follow. If you haven't already hit subscribe, please, 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 please hit subscribe. Um, go down in the comments below. Let us know if you saw the Saints Rest movie. What did you think? Uh, if you're just seeing the trailer, what are your initial thoughts? What are you hoping from the movie? Um, if you haven't gone to see the movie, it's going to be in September. It's going to be the movie under the stars in Central Park under the big bandstand. And in October, it's actually going to come back into circulation around the Strand Theater. So come back and check that out. Um, again, follow, subscribe. If you haven't been to our Patreon page, you can actually follow us there. We have content there as well. If you pay $5 a month, $5 a month, you actually get access before everybody else. You get to see it the Friday before. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.